Welcome to another um, DeFi chain video. This time we will not look into the source code, but as someone uh, requested, I will give you a quick um, yeah, introduction or I'll show you how this new feature, this uh, future swaps, work in reality in, uh, in the CLI. I mean, um, it will probably be also implemented in the UI in the Light Wallet, but it's not there yet. And um, yeah, it's. I always work on the CLI, so here's the CLI. You see, I updated already the, the, the wallet to 10 and uh, to 70, and I'm on the testnet currently. So um, everything is already there. The hard fork already happened on testnet, um, so we can do all the stuff and test it out. Um, just for everyone, um, if you want to help us and, and help in the development and the whole ecosystem, whenever a hard fork is coming up, um, update your node, um, update your wallet, and go on the testnet and test the stuff. Um, then this is fine, no bugs, we can also um, go to the mainnet. Um, anyway, on the testnet, um, for these future swaps, um, there are a few new um, CLI functions, and let's go through them. So the most important one, um, or the most one, one is the get future swap block. The good thing on the testnet, the future period is 120 blocks, so the same as the price um, blocks, which means you don't have to wait for a week to test the stuff, but you can test it every hour. Um, so our next block is in uh, roughly 70 blocks. Um, don't worry, this video won't be a minute. Um, I will just wait and cut it together. Um, yeah, so what I want to show you is basically two, the two cases that are important. Um, on the one hand, the premium case, and on the other hand, the um, case for the um, for the discount. So let's go to the premium case first. Um, I on the testnet we don't have all the T tokens, so I chose the um, uh, Microsoft. So I think I hope it's still in premium. Um, let's see the. It's currently on 3.27, and if we, sorry, copying stuff, um, and if we compare that with the, oh, sorry, USD, um, 3.27, and the next price is 300, so yes, we are trading at the premium on the DEX, um, Luckily, there is not much happening on DEX um, because you see the next price is 300, the current price, um, the DEX price is uh, 327. So we are at a um, roughly 10% premium. Um, so we will even make a profit from that. Um, if you want to arbitrage it, if, if this would be an arbitrage trade now, what we actually do, you take a loan um, with the ML and Microsoft. And I took a loan for three Microsoft and then I now swapping this testnet address, so I don't care if you know it. Um, so I swapping Microsoft 3 um, to the USD. Um, if you do an arbitrage trade, you should add a max price to um, just price default. But right now I don't care. So we're swapping that, um, and we will just see what comes out. Um, I don't want to wait. Um, so let's calculate. If we say the next price will be 363, um, we will get a price of 315. Um, so if we take this three um, Microsoft, this we will have to pay 946 um, to get this three Microsoft um, back. MSFT is Microsoft, right? I don't know. Yeah. Um, so let's swap 947. So this is the call that we want to do. Um, it's pretty simple. We just say, I want to do a future swap from this address. This amount of the USD, I want to swap to MSFT. And yeah, it sends in. We have a block. Um, so let's check our pending future swaps. Um, 
it's not my value, it's just what's my current pending future swaps for this address. And there you see, I have currently 947. That's what we sent in here. Uh, uh, TST, destination Microsoft. Um, also, you can have the list pending future swaps. Um, yeah, okay. Test note only me having future swaps open. Um, and you see in the transactions, um, you see I swapped three Microsoft for 963 DUSD. And I use now 947 of those. And if my calculation is correct, I will get three Microsoft for that. So I made 20, oh, okay, $16 um, arbitrage on that deal. Now, um, let's do the other direction. Um, other direction, I hope Twitter is still in this guy. Um, let's look into Twitter DUSD. Um, Twitter is currently at 31. Um, and Twitter USD. We are trading at 30 and the uh, all worker price is at 50, so there is a um, discount. For the discount case, we do the other way around. Um, so we take a composite swap from the USD to Twitter, like take the thousand again at the number, and um, the future swap now needs to be the, the amount that we want to get back to the G, um, to the USD. And there we do the swap in the other direction. And again, it's a future swap. Um, and here it says, um, again, from the address, from the D token, and here we don't add any DUSD or any target destination because from the D token, you can only go directly to the USD. Now we have this on 70. Uh, so now let's check. I got ah, only 25 um, today. Um, let's take this and we swap this whole amount. We take this and say, okay, I want to swap this amount of Twitter that I got and I want to swap it. While we wait, I can show you the withdrawal. Um, it's basically like that withdraw future swap, this owner, and this thing. Um, we could say I want to withdraw a hundred. Um, let's withdraw a hundred from MSFT. And the pending futures now the Twitter is in because we just got a new one. Why are you waiting for the next book? There it is. So now you see before I had 947 DUSD to swap. I have 847 to Microsoft. Um, I just added the 100 again, so in this block will be or in the next update. Um, we will see the whole thing again. Um, yeah, now we wait again. So we are through. As you see, list pending future swaps gives me nothing because nothing's um, that the swaps should have been done now. Um, let's check. Here we go. You see swap execution. Um, why do we have two deal here? Um, because I added, I removed and put it down to 847 and added another one. Um, 100 again, so I have two um, executed. Not that nice, okay, uh, but never mind. And I got 1256 DUSD for the swap from the Twitter to stuff. As you remember, we swap Twitter to DUSD, and that's the Twitter we bought with 2000 DUSD. And here we want to get um, three MSFT because we got three and um, we send him three MSFT. MSFT. And yeah, if you sum that up, that's exactly three MSFT. And this is um, more than a thousand, so we actually made $250. Um, on this one 
and the other one was just a bit with the swap. So that's it. Um, this is how the swap works. Um, I will put all the commands that I used um, into the description. And that's it. Happy arbitraging as soon as this goes to the mainnet.